Hi, STAIR students. My name is Miss Asher, and this is lesson 11 of unit three in your writing journal. So for today's activity, we are going to write about a funny moment in our life. So it might have been an experience that you had with your friend or with your family. It could have happened at home or at school. Uh, it could have happened with a pet, or maybe you were just by yourself and saw something funny. You have complete freedom to choose any experience that you found funny. Uh, and your job is to write about that moment for your audience. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and brainstorm some funny moments. So can you think about some things that have happened in your past that made you laugh or giggle? Uh, something that happened to you that you just thought was hilarious? So because we have a lot to cover today, I'm going to go ahead and show you the list of brainstormed ideas that I came up with of my funny moments. Uh, and hopefully while I'm reading through some of these, it'll help to uh, jog your memory and maybe you'll think of some of your own funny moments. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I just named this list funny moments um, and I'll go ahead and show you what I, uh, what I put down. So the first one that I thought about was uh, how my big dog, Zoe, was scared of my pet guinea pigs, which were very small little rodents, but she was scared of them. Uh, and so that was funny. And then there was my mom's dog, Nigel, who will bark and squeal at bubbles. Um, and that always makes us laugh when he sees bubbles and running water, he goes, rah, rah, rah. Um, and so then there was also the time that I got to wear a, a, a shark mascot costume. I was in a giant shark costume and I got to jump up and scare my friend. Um, so that was funny. Um, there was the time on my uncle's farm when I was ran, ran over by a stampede of goats. Not, no joke, they really, they ran me right over. <laughs> Not funny at the time, but looking back on it, it was funny. Uh, and then there's also the time that a squirrel got really mad at me. Um, and so out of these moments, I think they're all pretty funny, but I'm thinking about which one would be best to write for, because we're only going to be writing a couple of sentences, I think maybe four or five sentences in our story about this. So I think I'm going to go with number five, which is the time that a squirrel got mad at me, uh, because I think that it's a easy to tell story, and I think that it'll be fun to write about and I'm excited to share more about that experience with you. All right, so now that I have picked my topic for my story, I'm going to go ahead and start writing uh, my rough draft. And hopefully you guys were able to pick out your own topic uh, to write about after you made your own lists and now you're ready to uh, get started as well. So you'll see on this page, which again it's lesson 11 in unit 3 of your writing journal, you'll see that there is a outline for you to fill in to go ahead and structure your story. So it says first, and then it has a blank for you to fill in the first part of your story. And then it uses next as a transition word, and then then as a transition word. And then we end our story with last, which is another good transition word to let your audience know that that's the end of your story. So uh, we wanna make sure that when you're writing your stories, you're thinking about your beginning and middle and end. And like I said, this nice outline is going to help you to do that uh, because it makes it very clear uh, which part is the first part, the middle parts, and then the end part. So let's go ahead and think about what happened first in my story. How did it start when the squirrel got mad at me? <laughs> so the first thing that happened is I was outside uh, and I sat on a bench outside. So first I sat on a bench, on a bench outside. Okay, so there we go. We have our first part of our outline completed and I went ahead and wrote it on the board so everybody can see. So first part of the story, very normal not even any word of a squirrel yet. Uh, we just went and I sat on a bench outside. Um, and so then what happened next? So remember, we're using that transition word next, like it says in your outline. So first, I sat on a bench outside. Next, I heard a noise and it didn't sound like a squirrel. Uh, it sounded like a very angry duck. <laughs> so next, I heard a noise that sounded like an angry duck. 
So I'll say, I heard what sounded like a very angry duck. What sounded like a very angry duck. <laughs> Okay, so I hear this crazy noise, uh, and I don't know where it's coming from, but first, I just sat down on the bench outside, and then next, I heard what sounded like a very angry duck. So then what happened next? So, our next, our next uh, part of the outline starts with then. So after I heard the noise, then I looked up. So then I looked up. And I saw not a duck, but a very, very angry squirrel with a big bushy tail who was making a noise at me that I had never heard before. I'll, I'll try to make it. This might be silly, but he goes, mah, mah, mah. <laughs> and that was the noise that the squirrel just kept making at me. So I looked up and this very angry squirrel was yelling at me and guarding its territory. So I looked up in a tree. And saw a very angry squirrel going rah, 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 <laughs> and he was yelling at me. Saw a very very angry squirrel. screaming at me because he was he was making that crazy noise you want me to do it one more time i will just for you guys <laughs> and i swear that was the noise the squirrel was making and sometimes you'll hear that noise and you don't know what it is and it sounds like a bird look up and i promise you you'll find a squirrel that's making just this crazy sound that sounds like just a crazy unhinged bird or a duck so squirrel screaming at me Okay, so here we have what I've got so far. Uh, so it says, first I sat on a bench outside. Then I heard what sounded like a very angry duck. Then I looked up in the tree and I saw a very angry squirrel screaming at me. All right, so that is the majority of our story. And then let me tell you how it ended. So last, you know what I decided to do? I was feeling nice and I didn't want to stress that poor angry squirrel out, so I just got up and moved because I was not wanting him to sit there and stress about uh, about me being too close to that squirrel. I think it was guarding its territory. So for my last part, I'm just going to write last. I got up and moved to another bench. I was trying to be diplomatic. I didn't want to upset anybody. I got up. I'll just say I got up to give the squirrel some space because he needed some space. Or she, you never know. To give the squirrel some space. All right. Okay, and now I will go ahead and show you my final uh, rough draft of my funny story. And then once you have this final rough draft, You'll go ahead and write it on the back of your sheet. You'll see that there's an area for you to put this in in your writing journal. Uh, and then there's a space for you to go ahead and put a little picture so you can draw your funny moment after you did that. But uh, before I let you guys go, I'm going to go ahead and read this all the way through to you uh, and paint just a nice picture of my funny moment. So first, I sat on a bench outside. Then I heard what sounded like a very angry duck. Next, I looked up in a tree and I saw a very angry squirrel screaming at me. Last, I got up, I got up to give the squirrel some space. All right, so that was my funny story. I hope you enjoyed my uh, funny angry squirrel noises. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy writing your own story and remember again to use that structure of first, then next and last to uh, make sure that you're taking your audience on a, a logical journey of the order of your story. Uh, and then don't forget to draw that funny picture in there because I bet that uh, that'll be entertaining for you guys to go along with your story. 
Um, and then maybe you should show it to your friend or some family members and see if they find your story as funny as you did. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, and I hope you have fun with this activity. I know that I have been smiling the whole time I've been talking because I've been thinking about that little angry squirrel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you again for uh, our next lesson. Bye guys, have a good day.